before cooking, you must wash your hands. Hi guys, it's Bev here. Um, I thought I'd show you today how to do a French bread really loaded pizza. Um, hopefully you should be able to get all the ingredients from the fridge or the cupboard. Let's go for it and enjoy. Hi, as you can see I've already sliced the um, French crusty loaf. And then three, three slices out of a small 50p loaf. And I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Keep it moist. And give it a nice little bit of flavour and it's also very good for you. Then I'm going to add some tomato. This is just a can of tomato um, that I've mashed down <coughs> with a fork. I've added some herbs and a little little teaspoon of sugar just to give it a bit of sweetness because it can be quite sharp in taste. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just lay it on the bread. You can actually put on how much you want, lots on it or not so much. That's the fun of this, you can do exactly what you want to do with it. Second one. Hope you're doing well, sure you are. That's that done. And now for the, I think the first one we put some pepperoni on. Again, use lots, minimal or none, all depending on what you've got in your fridge and what you fancy. I think that should be enough. Next some pepper that I've already sliced. Nice red sweet pepper. As you can see, I like pepper. <laughs> Put a bit of cheddar, which everyone's got in the fridge, on the pepperoni red pepper um, pizza. Obviously with the tomato base. Lots of nice cheddar. Lovely. I think I'll put a little bit of black pepper on that one. Right, now the second one, I think we do um, some mushroom. And make sure when you chop it, you try and chop it as small as possible because the cooking time is only 15 minutes. olives but again if you do and then when you're free to choose them maybe a little bit of chili flakes which might well not might will actually spice it up a bit if you like a bit of a kick This one, maybe some mozzarella. Oh, that is nice. Mm. Pop that over there. Put one in the in there. And then the last one, I think we could do what we've got left is some corn, sweet corn. This is just drained out of the tin that I found in the cupboard. Ham would have been nice, but I haven't got any. So I'm going to put some pineapple. 
again, which I found in my cupboard. Give that a bit of sweetness if you like that. A bit like a Hawaiian pizza, but without the ham. <laughs> Maybe some fresh um, lime tomatoes. I haven't actually slice up and it doesn't even have to be vine tomatoes, it can be whatever tomatoes you've got going on in there in your fridge. You could either have this as a snack or as a main meal. <clears throat> a little bit of salt, give it a little bit of a, a little bit more pepper. Beautiful. Now I'll just bring my tray over. Just move that out of the way. Pop these on the tray. Ooh. Just a bit there, a bit of pepper there. Push it down a bit. And again, remember you can the fun thing about these is you can put whatever you want on them and whatever you've got in your cupboard. Another little bit of olive oil. Olive oil is so good for you. It may seem like I'm putting quite a bit on, but I'm actually not. Um, so there we go. So just take it over here. Now I've preheated the oven, so it should be quite nice and warm. And again, it's on about 240, gas mark six. And this will take 15 minutes on the middle shelf. Put that in. Lovely. Uh, I've taken the pizzas out and they've had five minutes to cool down. And now I'm going to pass them over to my hubby to do the tasting. <laughs> I'll just place them on the plate. Um, which one would you like to taste, And? I think I'm going to have to try the, uh, the pepperoni. Here. I don't know what you guys think, but I really do believe that when you eat a pizza, you've got to use your hands. Sensational. Absolutely. So there you go. Um, I hope you give the pizza a try. Um, remember, you can use whatever toppings you like. Um, have fun with doing this. And remember, we're all in this together. And be creative with this time that you've got at home within your cooking. Love the recipes that you've sent in and the lovely comments that I got. Thank you and speak soon. Bye. Stay home. Stay safe. Remember to wash your hands.